Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. In today's video, I will be creating a shiny fan inspired bedroom. This is my way of living my fantasies because I don't have the money to buy all the shiny merchandise. So instead, I'm creating artwork with shiny merchandise I would like. So as you saw at the beginning of the video, I had already sketched out the details. That didn't make sense, sketched out the sketch. I did it on a computer paper because I knew there would be a lot of little details, little knickknacks that I would be inc including in this painting. So I didn't want to go straight into watercolor on the water, straight drawing onto the watercolor paper. So I did it on computer paper, then I used a light box to trace onto the watercolor paper. And as you can see, I made a mistake with the wall. I made it straight instead of angled. And I noticed on the side, it was very empty. So I included a little dresser that I'm making right now. And you see I lined with a colored pencil and that is the start of my downfall. Well, not a downfall, but I shouldn't have lined with a colored pencil because this is watercolor paper and watercolor paper has texture. Like everyone knows, it's cold press. So it leaves like, it makes it a little bumpy. I should have lined with a felt tip pen, a micron, but I didn't think that far. So I created the shiny fan, the official shiny fan color, shiny color, is that right? Shiny color, which is this aqua teal mix. I'm creating art, I just don't know the color. And this is my messed up white paint. As you can see, there's tape all over it because I can't open up the cap. So every time I try to open up the cap, the cap it bursts there's a hole forms so I taped it up the first time and then I, op I could open up so I taped it up the first time but then it happened again and I gave up and it decided to just use the paint from that the hole that formed when I tried to open up the paint so that paint is forever closed so always remember to clean up the the paint before you close it so for the furniture I decided to go with this tan color I didn't want to go with black or white because I feel like black and white is kind of boring and I like I like wood so <laughs> I decided to go with a woodish tan color like you know when you go to Ikea and you get that fake wood and you can't actually afford real wood furniture so you get this kind of wood furniture thing I don't know what I'm saying anymore but I decided to go with this color because I felt like it looked good next to the blue and it just it, it ties the blue and the painting together it just it just looks so good so as you can see I'm just painting the bookcase and in the bookcase you can see that there's different knickknacks I created albums which is on the first shelf and a radio and then there's a bag on the second shelf with books and I had no idea what to do with those books but later on I had an epiphany and you will see that later on so I'm not gonna spoil it and I'm painting the dresser the dresser <laughs> the same color as the rest of the furniture wouldn't that be odd if I painted the dresser a different color I feel like it would just it would just look really odd oh before I move on you can see the ceiling has is kind of slanted I was kind of inspired by my own bedroom because I have slanted ceilings so I felt like my painting should have also have slanted ceilings and none of my furniture is this color it's they're all mismatched so which wouldn't look nice in a painting so I didn't do that so the underneath of the desk is a darker version of that color just to create some shadows I did this painting a little different than my normal style. I want it to be simple with very obvious shadows and not very blended. So I created these harsh lines, I guess you would say. So you, it's very cartoony, if that makes sense. I wanted to experiment and escape my comfort zone, so I decided to do a very simple style which is not very blended I my style is pretty simple I feel like I don't have a style I 
I try to do different things and this was my attempt at doing something different which is having a very cluttered room with different things different areas your eye will go towards I made her sweater red so the eye would just go directly at her because it's such a bright color and here I am painting the furniture and I did, did this little time lapse to see the paint drying and it's just so fascinating because to see how the gouache paint looks like one color and then becomes a totally different color when it dries and it just looks so fascinating when I was editing I was fascinated by it I've said fascinated fa fascinated a bunch of times but enjoy that little clip I hope you enjoyed it because I did and our pants are kind of joggers and not much to say about that I just thought the blue would complement the red and wouldn't take your eye off her it was it's very subtle because there's so much blue in the drawing but it's also very different from the shiny color I just realized I, I t got distracted by the time lapse of the paint drawing that I was taught that I forgot I was talking about my style so this painting like I said before is very different from my style and I'm not totally in love with this style but I do love how the painting came out at the end I think it's very different to what I normally do I probably said that already a couple of times I'm repeating myself it kind of reminds me of a comic book I guess and I thought that would be a cool style to try but I feel like it's not my style well not yet at least I feel like I need to work on it a little more and maybe I can find myself because I feel like I like the blending I like how in paintings you can have the blending is visible and in this painting the blending is not visible because like I said before the shadows have harsh lines and I would I like when paintings are <laughs> B b blending. I like to see the blending and I like I like paintings that look whimsical if that makes sense and I want to try more that style but it was really fun to try this style because it was out of my comfort zone and there was a lot of things to paint which was the bane of my existence as you can see I picked this gray color for the wall I, f I wanted a muted color so it doesn't overwhelm the drawing and white seemed to be I felt like if I kept the walls white it would too it would take your eye away from the painting and the little knickknacks and the person at the computer thing and then your eye would be on the white wall and it would look unfinished is what I believed and I still believe that Painting around those little lights were really hard and now looking back at it, I, I, I commend my patience. The painting the, the things on the bookshelf was also pretty difficult because it is so tiny and I thought, oh, I, and if you just painted it some muted color, it wouldn't stand out as much. So I did paint it some colors that you would, you will see soon. I'm getting ahead of myself. But as you can see, I'm painting the underside of the desk and that side is much darker than the wall color because there that, that would be in shadow. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I also don't know what to say. So now I am painting the computer screen yellow because she is on the computer. She's doing work. Maybe she's watching YouTube. Maybe she's doing something. She's me, actually, because I did base it off me, kind of. I don't have a red jumper. Or a red or I mean blue joggers but she uh, my hair is somewhat like that and it I did say it was kind of my dream bedroom I'm living my dream in a painting as you can see I did add shadows to her jumper and just to add some interest to the painting because I didn't want to leave it just flat and it's clothing so there would be little creases and the flower on the 
bookshelf is also red because I wanted the eye to go to the jumper first and then go to the bookshelf so you your eye is now on the bookshelf and you can see what's on the bookshelf and the the radio I wanted to keep it kind of neutral kind of like the wall color because I didn't want it to just pop up on your face and now we are on the real bane of my existence and that is painting this poster I thought it was a cute idea and I thought oh it would be so cute to have a little poster inspired by their last album for their 10th anniversary and no painting those little letters and numbers was so time-consuming and so difficult I zoomed in this much because my hair was my hair and my head was in the way you, you could see like little clips of my hair coming in and out sometimes throughout this video because the, the details in this painting were so tiny I had to look up close because I just had to otherwise I would be painting over the lines and from a distance you wouldn't notice but I'm looking at this painting up close and it would bother me so I had to look up close and this pa this poster it looks nice at the end but actually painting it was really annoying I also realized I paused a lot I don't know why I also thought I cut it out but I didn't but I'm gonna keep it in anyway because so you can really see the details of the paint the poster in case anyone is curious shiny is my bias group in k-pop they are my favorite they're not the first group i ever discovered in k-pop the first group i discovered was bts and my friend introduced me to them it was during their i need you era but shiny i discovered when taemin released his press your number music video i just happened to just click on it and then i just fell in love i just fell in love with him and then i fell in love with shiny and that was the start of a beautiful fan a fan love as you can see i'm now untaping the painting but if you notice something is not unpainted i hope you notice can you tell can you guess can you guess i'm about to tell you past me is about to tell you actually Ooh, i will give you a few seconds to guess and then i will tell you the answer I forgot to do that. Okay. I, I, I'm pretty sure most of you guessed the floor. As you can see, I forgot to paint the floor. I don't know how I forgot. It was, I, I don't know what my, where my mind was. Oh, before I forget. As you can see, I did paint those little albums that are next to the, next to the radio. I was, they were inspired by their actual album, so the colors are from their actual albums and that's what inspired me. I, I was looking up pictures and that was, that took up a bit, a bit of time just to look up pictures to see what their albums look like. They're not very exact, but it's pretty close, I would say. Now I'm just lining everything because there was a lot of white space and I didn't really like that. So I just lined the whole drawing in different areas just to make it more interesting. I And I definitely think it did make it more interesting. And yeah, and that's the end of the video. I ended it up pretty abruptly. I apologize. There's really nothing else much to say other than thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this painting process and let me know if you also love shiny or let me know what what other k-pop group you like you love and your bias my bias is taemin if that wasn't obvious and i will see you next time bye mm -hmm.